Some big news around boxing today in Australia. So what do we do? We fire up the satellite and zoom in. George Rose from No Limit Boxing. Welcome to you, sir. And uh, mate, another big day in the sport that never sleeps. Look, a huge day. You know, it's it started from the moment I woke up, and it's it's only kept getting bigger. So um, I'm excited, and and I feel like most of Australia is too. Um, off the back of today's news. It is big news. So we are talking about Tim Zhu, Bakramut as I have booked in. I mean, oh, you've had enough of Vegas, have you? You want to go take over Miami and Florida and everywhere else? Is this what's going on? No, I do. I do love my time in Vegas. Um, it's it's the home of boxing. It's an amazing place, but I do an absolute l- number of myself every <laughs> time I go there. So um, it's going to be a relief to, to head to Orlando. You know, Disneyland, boxing. You know, it, it's it's something that, that shouldn't be um, as painful as I usually feel after leaving Las Vegas. But we're excited to be headed to Florida. You know, it's a it's a great state. Um, and I think it's, a, you know, it's a, a great chance for Tim to get another, another local fan base there in the USA. Um, you know, I think the Florida locals would absolutely love Tim Zhu and love the way that he fights. Yeah, and also uh, a great choice in venue. I mean, a resort, like not only are you just going down the lazy river, you can just duck into the conference centre and watch Tim Zoo hopefully claim a world title. I mean, what's better than that? Exactly. It's uh, it's built for it. It's going to be perfect. I'm looking forward to the to the fight week vibe there. I think it'll be very interesting um, at the resort, and um, you know the the venue is going to be exciting. You know, it'll be a, it'll be a perfect fight for Tim to win that new belt. Yeah, which is going to be great news. Was the venue uh, one of many options? or Because when I did see it come through, it was a full-blown resort. I'm like, this is a little interesting. I know they do do it in Vegas. There are a lot of resort fights and stuff like that, or at least hotels, like obviously the MGM is one of those. But there is resort world and everything else. But I just was, yeah, I saw this one come through and it did catch me a bit left field. No arenas, no stadiums, no whatever around there. It's just, it's, was it one of a few? Yeah, well, look, it's a, it's a very different fight. Um, it's a very different fight, but it's a fight that opens the door to the rest of the world. So um, we're not really fussed about where it is, how it is, uh, how it takes place. As long as there's a ring there, as long as there's Tim Zoo fans there, um, anything can happen. So I'm pretty confident that it'll be a great night, and I know that Tim's going to get the win here as well. So um, our focus is purely on beating Murtazalev, uh, getting that IBF world title and then opening the door to the to the rest of the world. Tim had some hesitation around if he'd actually sign it just because obviously the past there's been people that haven't shown up or things have happened. Uh, was there much negotiation in this? Was he up for it? What was the vibe throughout the process? Yeah, look, it's it's actually been a pretty good process. You know, we're, we're very lucky that we have a great relationship with PBC. Um, you know, Murtazalev is a is a champion who who wants to continue to build his name. He wants big fights. He wants big opportunities. Um, Tim Zhu is a king of the division. So um, a, a fight with Tim Zhu is is fighting the best in the division right now. So um, absolute credit to uh, Murtazalev and his team for for taking this fight because um, this is is the first of getting all the belts in this division for for Tim Zhu. Yeah, well, it's going to be an awesome one to watch as well. And obviously, if you're an Australian main event in KO and if you are around the world, Prime Video, which also opens up, I guess, more US people that are watching this as well, you'll be able to get to see Tim Zoo in action as well, which I guess, which is a world title fight that is only going to build his profile more and more when they have seen what we've seen for a long time. Yeah, well, look, it's their first uh, linear show on Prime as well, so... And they'll have access to to free view across all all the prime subscribers across America. So, opening so opening him himself to a, a huge fan base over there, the opportunity for a lot of eyeballs to to see Tim do his thing and win this world title. Have you spoken to him recently? Um, look, I, I had a brief chat to him today before we we went live with Fox, and uh, he's just in a good zone. You know, when when good news like this comes through, he just locks in even further. Um, he, he's such a zoned in, locked in guy. He's really focused on on his craft and what he's got to do, but he just gets this extra burst of energy when the good news comes through. And I, I really enjoy, you know, watching that energy in him. And then, you know, the, the camera's rolling and he'll, he'll come back down and, you know, 
be a lot more composed, but um, I know that, that he's really excited about this and um, he knows that he deserves to be fighting for world titles and, um, you know, I've got to get absolute respect to, to the No Limit team for, for getting this across the line because um, it's not often you see a guy come off a loss uh, straight into a world title fight. So that's what Tim Zhu's doing, but he's the best in the division. That's what he deserves. Some other news floating around today. I saw Ring TV. They, uh, they, they've put out that you guys, I don't know if this means for you when you go to Florida, it's a fake moustache, dark hat on the run from Bob Aaron because you've outbid <laughs> top rank for a world title fight, which is huge news. This is big. Tell us about it. Yeah, look, we're, we're absolutely stoked about it. I, I think it's a great result for Andre Mikhailovich after everything that he had to go through to get this world title. Um, you know, we, we sat around talking about it last night before we actually put the bid in. And, um, you know, it's it's funny. Like, it's, we've, we've had a number of purse bids now. Sometimes we get blown away by hundreds of thousands. Sometimes we, we've just lost. Um, and then other times we've overbid by by far too much, and it's it's really a tough thing to get that that just perfectly right. And I think um, the way that the the cookie crumbled last night was absolutely inch perfect um, to to win the purse bid by one thousand. You know, it's uh, it means it, we did we hit it perfectly, and and I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Like. I woke up to the news. Matt had to sit up and actually go through it in the middle of the night. Um, so I woke up to the text. He hadn't slept since he got the news. The adrenaline was pumping and it was like, how the, you know, how the hell did we get it so right? Because we did. We got it so right. You, for those that don't know, and I'm one of those, with a negotiation and a purse bid like that, do you just get to submit one blind number and then that's it? There's no it, nothing? No, no, yeah. So it's, it's, it's you come up with your offer. You come up with yours, you send it through, you deposit your money, and then you hope. And then you yeah. hope. Yeah. It's, well, it's, a, it's a silent auction on steroids. So while you guys were just sitting around the No Limit offices going, you know what, we'll make it 51, I reckon. I reckon we'll just yeah. chuck the one on the nose here and just, you never know. Yeah, well, I mean, I think the number we were at at the time was 25, and we're like, well, you know, I feel like they're going to go to 50. So well, fuck it. if we're going 25, what's the difference between going to 51? Yeah. You know, we're, we're already out there. Let's let's bump it up that little bit extra. And we're going, bang, okay. Done the letter, sent it through. Um, one by 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 that one, that one. Three and eight. Yeah. So we were, we were, yeah. Oh, I've had a great day. I've had yeah, a great day. I can tell you're grinning. <laughs> I can see it. You're ready to party. You've signed off on bloody Florida. You've got another world title fight. You've just beaten top rank out at as well. Although on that as well, obviously Jana Beck, that was a fight that you went over to Las Vegas for. It got pulled yeah. at the last minute due to him not making weight. They said a, a dehydration and he wasn't safe for him to make weight. He would have had all of his chips in that top rank would have saved the day again. And it's not been the case. And he's jumped on social media. I'm not sure if you've seen and called him out going, what's going on? Like, <laughs> no, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. I've, been, I've been too busy basking in the in the glory of a great day here in Australia. Well, um, and, and look, he's going to love Australia too when he comes down here to Australia and and has to defend his title. Um, it's a it's a beautiful country. It's a beautiful country. Yeah, well, he's uh he's he's tagged them all in Twitter, going, "Is this correct? Is this for real? What's going on?" And then a couple of little spiral posts after that, and a bit of life reflection, like he's uh. He's, he's, he's up and about today. Um, and uh, look, I, we spoke to um, Andre at the Nikita fight. I had a chat to him back there. And this didn't seem to be, unless he was playing possum, something that he was thinking was going to happen in the next few days. This has only been under a week or if not a week today. And um, he's got news. He didn't have that. So is this a quick thing? Oh, it happened very quick. Yeah, it happened very quick. And look, we, we weren't sure... I mean, you, you usually assume that, you know, with a, with a huge company like Top Rank um, and they've got the world champion, you usually assume that it's going to end up that way and you've got to, um, you know, all the chips end up stacked against you and you've got to head into their backyard and, and follow their rules and um, do it the tough way and win the title the tough way. Uh, um, this is still a very tough, don't worry, this is still a very tough way. Uh, Beck is, is no slouch. It's, it's absolutely the hardest, of, hardest fight in the division. And um, Andre has put his hand up and he absolutely wants this. And I know that he'll put in the work again uh, in this training camp to make sure that he's he's left no stone unturned to give him the best opportunity to win this fight. But 
um, in the position that he's in, this is this is the best possible outcome that we could have had for for how he has to fight for this world title. What was the ETA on that? Do we have that yet? Uh, yeah, look, we're we're looking at, at, at putting on um, putting it on here in in Australia on the fourth. Yep, of November. October. October. Oh shit, it's getting even closer. Good stuff. Love that. Well, there yeah. you go. We'll hey, Andre. Andre's been ready for for three months, man. He said to me ready. the other day, which blew my mind, he's fought six rounds in two years and it's pissing him off. So he, yeah. he's chilling. He's ready to go. Yeah, look, he's, he's been in a very unfortunate situation. He's without a doubt one of the most talented fighters in the region um, and he just needs his opportunity to show the world. Oh, good stuff. Well, we look forward to that. Now, finally, uh, there was obviously some big movement overnight with Nora Inouye. He fought TJ Doherty. It ended with a, a back injury, but... That means if we're looking at how the chips are supposed to fall, Sammy Goodman is up next. How close is that to being confirmed? Yeah, look, we're going through that process at the moment. We're talking with Mr. Honda and the and the in away team, and um, you know, Sam Goodman is Mr. Mandatory. Uh, mm-hmm. He's the he's the best fight in the division. He's the fight that uh, would make the most sense for in away as well. So. Um, Sam's preparing for that 100%. We're, we're working on that in the background right now. So we're, um, you know, we've had some great news with, with Tim and Andre so far today, and we really want to keep that ball rolling and lock away something really good for Sam Goodman. He's worked his life for this moment. And um, this is where, this is the fight that, that changes his life. Well, it looks to me like sometimes you hear these things and you, and there's, they're said with a bit of hope, but, is it going to happen? We just hope. But this one seems a little bit more firmed up because when Bob Arum got into the ring, he did jump in there and say, we've got December here and then I want to take him over to the US. I mean, do you want to take him over to the US as a uh, guy that just lost to Sam Goodman? I mean, that's that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if you're picking up that too, <laughs> hopefully. Look, he can do that, but the belts will be spending Christmas in Australia. The belts will be living in Australia. So um, Sam Goodman's absolutely going there to win and I think he's – He's done all the work and all the preparation to give him um, the the upper hand in this fight. He's it's funny. I heard Sam say today. He said, "I'm you know I'm going into this this fight as the as the bigger guy." And um, you know you know Sam yourself. Sam's not a big guy. He's a he's a very very small guy. So for him to be um, talking about being the bigger guy and feeling the confidence of of heading into that ring as the bigger guy, it's um, you know, it's going to be an interesting matchup. In a way, he's obviously a, a, a very small guy, but he's packed some serious power. He's a he's a legend. He's an absolute legend. Um, the only thing better than a, than the legend of In a Way is the legend killer in in Sam Goodman. Yeah, great. Well, we're early September now. You'd have to think that one actually gets put out because you look if you saw In a Way from last night, he seems reasonably undamaged. But I can't see yeah. that there's anything that he needs to. There's no cuts that need to heal. There's no damages. There's no nothing from what I could see. And that was yeah. what I was sort of hoping to get out of that one. And, and I do feel that there'd be a, you know, a little air of disappointment for him on the, in how the fight finished as well. Mm. Do you think that might be a benefit for Sam that he didn't get that big highlight knockout and he didn't really get to do much? Maybe that could be, I don't know. We're talking, we're splitting hairs here with one percenters, but sometimes, yeah. it's need. I mean, you just need the thousand, right? You've proven that today. Yeah. yeah, look, <laughs> you just need that thousand. That's yeah. it. But uh, look, Sam's, Sam's, they've got a plan. They've got a plan. Um, they've been able to watch in a way more and more. All of his fights have been televised back here. So the whole team's been able to watch in high def on uh, on main event and KO Sports. So they've been able to get to tune in and see absolutely everything that this guy has to offer. Um, and they've got a plan. They've got a plan. And I can't wait for them to put it into action. Awesome. Well, we look forward to getting that announcement soon. I can't wait to see a little email going, um, Sam Goodman available for interviews. And I'll be like, boom, I know what that one is. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. And just finally, George, um, now you guys have got your next show, which is in middle of September down in Melbourne, no limit of taken down there with wildfighter and a uh, bit of a co-promote down there. What can you tell us about that? And how do we see that? Yeah, look, we're really excited about it. We've got another no limit on Fox show to be able to showcase um, free to view, it won't be a pay per view, so um, plenty of free boxing to watch on the on the Thursday night down there in Melbourne. We've been keen to get back to Melbourne for quite some time, and um, with the timing of Will's planned event and what we had planned for for Melbourne, it just made sense. We've been talking to Will and really like what he does with Wildfighter. I think they they put on great shows. They put a lot of effort 
into putting on great shows too. And there's plenty of talent down there. Um, you know, we're always looking for more talent to showcase in Melbourne, and this is going to be a perfect opportunity to do that. Yeah, with the uh, with that show, and now obviously the announcement in October with Andre and Janabek, is there potentially an option to roll out uh, Zarafa before then, given he only had three minutes? Is there an option <laughs> for him to jump out there before a potential Nikita Zoo fight? Yeah, look, I, I think there's there's conversations to happen with Zarafa, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think he showed that that he jumped into that fight very aggressively, very um, looking to really put on a show. Unfortunately, um, yeah. it didn't get to go the distance for him or the distance that he'd hope it would go. Uh, and, you know, he didn't get to showcase at all. But I think I saw enough there to know that uh, Zarafa is back and he is looking for big fights. So, um, you know, I, I'd look forward to getting him back in the ring again. Yeah, good stuff. Well, there you go. Well, uh, we just had to cover it all, mate, because you guys have got news dropping left, right, and center, and that's how we do right it. Huh? Look at that. Look it's at good. That. It's a good. It's a good problem to have, you know. There's, I mean, there's yeah, a lot going on. Nice. Well, uh, we look forward to seeing you poolside at uh, the resort in Florida uh, for Tim Zoo's next world title fight. Two-time <laughs> world champ sounds good, and uh, that sounds great. There you go, George Rose. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Thanks for having me.